In this video, what I will discuss is the FFT software package. So I select that, push OK, and it will automatically connect to the program. Once this is loaded, we can do things like set up the file, look at a display. On the field pack here, you'll notice that we have two displays. With the Impact Elite, we have a, a larger display, so we can have four windows. In this demonstration, I will talk about the field pack too. So first thing I want to do is hit setup, so we'll press that. The very first thing that I see is mode, measure, channel, and engineering. If I select mode, I can choose either single block or I can push this button, power spectrum, and fill out this information or do even envelope scanning. So it's good for bearing analysis. Back to single block, we will choose uh, Time Waveform, Auto Power Spectrum, and Complex Spectrum. Next, I will push Measure. At this display, it has a number of things that I can do from Bandwidth, Lines of Resolution, Zoom FFT, Start Frequency. This whole area here is for averaging, and we have Linear, Number of Averages, Pause, Overlap Percentage, Preview On or Off, or Overload Rejection. So if you're doing modal analysis, it's very good for using this for setting up your hammer settings. Also, the next thing down was that we have trigger setup, and this we can have different types from external input, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, or channel 4. Hit the C key to go back, and then also we have a tachometer input on this, and you can see there is pulses per revolution. So the two things that we've gone over so far is mode and measure. The next one is channel setup. And on this we have one to four channels, input range, five volts or 20 volts, and that's plus or minus five volts or plus or minus 20 volts. Then we can scroll over to type of coupling, IEPE, AC, DC, and select the one you want. And then from there we can do windowing, handing, flat top, force, exponential, or rectangular. Once this is set up, you can also choose uh, the, the force factor or exponential factor. We also have labels that you can put on here for machine. So you can have, for example, um, the XYZ, which would be modal analysis, or you can have a name or a label for the machine. So it might be ID fan 01, and then it might be motor 3, and then it might be IH01, for example. These labels make it easy to understand what your uh, measurement is actually doing. The final setup is the engineering window, and this is where we specify what type of sensor that we have. And basically, if you can mechanically plumb your sensor, we can actually use that for measurement. So for example, in this case we have acceleration, so we just select acceleration, but we also have a pick list for acceleration, velocity, displacement, force, and sound. We'll leave it on acceleration, hit G's because it's in G's. Next is a sensitivity input, you, you have the ability to add whatever you want, we'll just change this to uh, 101, we'll go 101, enter. And now in this display over here, you can have what your display units is going to be. So instead of, say, inches per second, maybe we want to put it in millimeters per second. So we hit that button there. Down here, we have the dB reference unit, the integration or differentiation, weighting, or the high-pass filter. So if you look at this, you can see that from the first channel, we have acceleration is in Gs, sensitivity, and we're going from Gs to millimeters per second and then in the math it's telling us that we're integrating times one. When we go from displacement mils to inches per second, we are now differentiating by one. We also have the ability to measure in peak, peak to peak, or RMS. I'll leave it in RMS. And then we also have a unit table that we can specify uh, a particular unit. So for example, if we go from G's to G's, there is no integration or differentiation, and the scale factor is one. If we go from G's to millimeters per second, you notice that it's integrating by one, and that's the formula or the factor that you actually apply towards that. And that's the setup. So basically it's four different windows that we set up. Once that's done, we now have the ability to choose the display that we want, 
or we could just push the start stop button here I'll just go do that right now and now it will automatically take my measurement and then show some information uh, let's change this to a time waveform and we'll just show channel 1 we also have the ability to choose the different displays here we can choose uh, auto spectrum, complex spectrum, time waveform, and if we had some other things on here like uh, X and Y on this we could do an orbit plot. So this is a very powerful instrument that allows you to do many different types of measurements in the field on FFT. This is just a small sample of what the field pack and the impact elite can do.